Hello everybody and welcome back to the third episode of my series booking all Japan Pro Wrestling here on Total Extreme Wrestling 2020. I hope you're all having a splendid day. We are here for the Summer Explosion Series show headlined by Kento Miyahara and Yuma Ayagi defending their World Tag Team Championships against Kuma Arashi and Koji Doi of Total Eclipse. Speaking of Total Eclipse, the remaining four members of the stable, that being Jake Lee, Hokuto Omori, Tajiri and Yusuke Kodama will be wrestling the debuting Yankee Giants. That would be the newly formed stable of Shuji Ishikawa, Yuko Miyamoto, Fumanori Abe and Kohei Saito. Now unfortunately Abe works for quite a few different companies and he has picked up a shoulder injury working elsewhere. He is able to work through the injury but I believe he has it for two more months so I assume it's going to continue to affect his performances but just for multi-man tag team matches like the one he's booked for today I think he'll be all right. This is also a bit of a pivotal show because coming up next month in September, we have the Royal Road Tournament. That is a single elimination tournament to determine the next contender for the Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship. And whoever wins that tournament next month will be Jake Lee's first challenger for the title. So this show is a last chance for a lot of the heavyweights on the roster who will be in that tournament to get some momentum. But with all that said, let's get into the show today. In our opening match, the Strong Hearts trio of Shima, El Underman, and T-Hawk defeat Akira Francesco, Alejandro, and Black Mansuri in 11 minutes and 5 seconds when Shima pinned Black Mansuri. T-Hawk had a 63, El Underman had a 59, and Shima down to a 49. Those morale issues must really be affecting his performances. On the losing team, Black Mansuri had a 44, Alejandro had a 42, and Akira Francesco, who seems to be going from strength to strength, up to a 58 rated performance already, you love to see that. 54 rated opener, which is a pretty solid rating to get the show kicked off. In our second bout of the evening, we have a 50 rated match in which Koji Iwamoto and Ruki Honda defeat Atsuki Yoyagi and Rising Hayato of Next Dream in 11 minutes and 12 seconds when Iwamoto submitted Ayagi. Iwamoto had a 51, Honda had a 31, Ayagi had a 45, and Hayato had a 40. Then after the match, we had Rising Hayato, despite being on the losing team take a ringside microphone and challenge Koji Iwamoto for the World Junior Heavyweight Championship which Iwamoto accepted and it seems that is a match we will be seeing in the very near future. Iwamoto defeated Shima to win the title two months ago. That match is also the source of Shima's aforementioned morale issues. Then Iwamoto made his first defense of the title against Akira Francisco last month and it seems like his second challenger has just stepped to the plate. In our third match of the evening, in a 63 rated match, the Purple Haze trio of Izanagi, Shikiro Iri, and Zeus defeat Hikaru Sato, Shotaro Ashino, and Suwama in 15 minutes and 17 seconds when Zeus pinned Hikaru Sato with a neckbreaker. Zeus had a 61, Iri had a 62, Izanagi had a 35, Suwama had a 61, Ashino had a 61, and Sato had a 58. All in all for a 63 rated match. Very solid performances across the board here. Five of our most consistent performers in the company. Obviously Izanagi is the wrestler who I'm leaving out of that equation, but these are five wrestlers who I expect to be the benchmark of this company. Iri, Zeus, Ashino, and Suwama all in the heavy heavyweight division and Sato in the junior heavyweight division. After the match, however, we have another angle in which Atsushi Onita and Masanobu Fuchi come to the ring and challenge Izanagi and Zeus for the All Asia Tag Team Championships. Onita and Fuchi held the belts a number of years ago and it looks like the veteran duo are back to claim what they believe is theirs. Zeus was initially dismissive of the challenge, but then Izanagi took the microphone away from Zeus and accepted a challenge. So it looks like even though we have the Royal Road tournament coming up next month, which you have to assume Zeus will be participating in, at a future date we have a title match set, Onita and Fuchi reuniting to challenge Izanagi and Zeus for the All Asia Tag Team Championships. Then moving on to our next bout of the night, it's a 64 rated match in which the debuting Yankee Giants 
are victorious against Total Eclipse in 19 minutes and 43 seconds when Shuji Ishikawa pinned Tajiri with a splash mountain. We knew that Abe would have a lowered performance due to his shoulder injury. He was down to a 41. Very unfortunate to see that. Elsewhere in the match, we had Ishikawa had a 61. Kohei Sato had a 57. Yuko Miyamoto had a 58. Yusuke Kodama had a 51. Tajiri had a 40. Jake Lee had a 71 as he continues to impress as the new holder of the Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship. And Hokoto Omori had a 43. All in all, I think this is a good debut for the Yankee Giants. 64 rated match. I'm very content with that. And it's good to see that Jake Lee's performance in the 70s wasn't just a one-off fluke at the last show. It seems to be where he is consistently performing, and that puts him par with Kento Miyahara as our best performer. Speaking of which, our next bout will be Kento Miyahara and Yuma Oyagi defending their World Tag Team Championships against the Total Eclipse duo of Koji Doi and Kuma Arashi, and the result of that match is the fourth successful defense of the World Tag Team Championships for next stream, a 68 rated match, which I'm very happy to see. Kento pinned Koji Doi after 27 minutes and 41 seconds. Kento had a 74, Yuma Iyagi had a 52, Kuma Arashi matched him with a 52, and Koji Doi had a 45. All in all, that's a very solid rating in my book. I've been mostly very pleased with the results from this show. And we get a 65 rated show, which is a vast improvement from the 53 that we got last month. I thought I had renamed the segment here with Onita, Fuchi, Zeus, and Izanagi. It seems like I've had a few issues with segments just losing their customized names when booking. So apologies if that was spoiled on the booking screen. I thought I'd fix that. But anyhow, a good show here. Kento and Yuma make their fourth defense of the World Tag Team Championships. We have the Royal Road tournament coming up next month. Rising Hayato challenged Koji Iwamoto for the World Junior Heavyweight Championship, and Onita and Fuchi challenged Zeus and Izanagi for the All-Asia Tag Team Championships. I think our speech will continue to be the same three that we've continued to praise. We're trying to get back into Shima's good books without having to pay him a bonus, as his loan is due to expire at the end of this month, and I don't know if he'll be willing to renegotiate a handshake deal, given how angry he is with us. And then of course, the two men who performed in the 70s, Kento and Jake. Shima seemed pleased, Kento was pleased, and Jake was pleased. So feedback for the Summer Explosion series was that the show was awesome. That is always a relief to see. As for our top 100s, 65 rated show puts it three ratings off our first episode of the series, the Dynamite series show. And we had the new third highest rated match ever with Kento and Yuma Yagi defeating Koji Doi and Kuma Arashi. As I said, the next episode will be the Royal Road Tournament. That's going to be a single elimination tournament. So I think I'm going to spread that out over the course of possibly three shows. If we do a field of 16, we have the first round on the first show, the second round on the second show, and then the semi-finals and final on the last show. But that may change between now and next episode, so don't quote me on it. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe with the bell icon ticked so you don't miss any future content. Leave a comment telling me who you think the favorite is to win the Royal Road Tournament and be Jake Lee's first challenger for the Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship. Until then, however, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.